It might not look like much, but this quarter pounder is also a quarter of a million dollars. No, seriously. There's a good reason for that, though, because although it may look like any old lean minced beef, this burger was actually grown in a lab, and it's the first and only one of its kind. The patty's made up from 20,000 half millimetre strands of beef muscle tissue grown in nutrition fed petri dishes from cattle stem cells, mixed deliciously with breadcrumbs, egg, beet juice for colour, and saffron. Doesn't sound tempting, but the verdict? There's quite some intense taste. It's close to meat. It's not that juicy. Does it taste like beef? <laughs> the texture, the, the, the mouth feel, has a feel like meat. The absence is, I, I feel like the fat. You know, like it's, 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 it's a leanness to it. But whilst the flavour might not be quite there yet, the process, part funded by Google founder Sergey Brin and developed by scientists at Maastricht University in the Netherlands, shows promise. We're trying to make a couple of points. One was, or one is, that we can do this. It, it, the, the technology is there. We can make a piece of meat out, out of sight of the cow. You know, we needed to make the people aware that we have a serious issue with meat production. Um, and that uh, you know, we are not going to supply sufficient meat with current production methods to the growing world population. Over 70% of the Earth's arable land is used for livestock. Growing meat in a lab carries no animal welfare concerns, ensures that meat is free from impurities and is nutritionally balanced, as well as freeing up billions of acres of land for cultivating more useful food crops. It's thought that, although widespread adoption of the process is likely to be years away, a few products could be in British and US supermarkets within a decade, hopefully at a significantly reduced price tag, or at least buy one, get one free. And since the team started the process by growing mouse meat, they're already making big steps to creating something people are actually going to want to eat.